Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk to you about why Festival Football and Path to Glory are insane. EA dropped a madness with the content yesterday, the players in packs, the SBCs, and the objectives, and how we might even have 99 rated cards by the end of the Euros, which is insane. We thought we wouldn't see that in FIFA, but we might based off of Griezmann and Havertz. So we'll talk about that and even some of the new card designs and pack code that were added just a couple of hours ago tonight. Talk about what that means for content today on Saturday in this game. Now again, content yesterday with the release, Path of Glory cards, 14 of them in packs, and a, uh, one SBC card and one objective for the Path to Glory items. They are insane. And I wanna, got, wanna show you guys the team. Of course, you've seen the cards but these are insane, right? We even had a couple cards that were extinct to get today that have had price range updates, like Griezmann was extinct at 2 mil. He is now 3.7. Havertz is extinct at like 2.5. He's only 2.9. Foden is still extinct at the moment. But crazy, crazy price rebounds in these cards as well. We'll talk about that. They got really cheap actually during the Euro game today with uh, Italy versus Turkey, and they have rebounded since exponentially. And I also want to talk about what this promo is going to be bringing. But again, this was what we were most excited about when we saw these cards drop today. Again, live cards with these kind of stats is unreal. So GG's to EA Sports for just absolutely boosting the heck out of these cards. Great player selection, great stats, great overall stats. Again, this Yorente card, right? This is the only card that got into the PTG team that already had a team in the season. The rest of these guys didn't have TOTS cards, but an absolutely insane looking card. I don't even know where you want to try to play this guy, whether you want to play him in the midfield, as a center back, or as a right back, but an absolutely nuts card for sure. The rest of this team is insane as well, all the way from even like Gullivan's card looks really good. So we'll talk about that, of course, today. Now, I want to go over again just the info page really fast because there's a couple information things on here that we can definitely talk about. Now, again, the way that this is worded, um, celebrate the return of international football with Festival of Football, brand new player special item types with a variety of SBCs and objectives. Um, and then, of course, it's, they're saying we're kicking off the festivities with special Festival of Football Path to Glory live items that upgrade based on national team wins. Now, I want to talk about this as well because there are a couple graphics that were released that said FOF Path to Glory Team 1. I think it actually might be on the loading screen. It said Team 1. One, now of course this is the upgrade path and the games are already starting and the games are happening. But also with this wording here, if we were to have a team two or another squad, which I think is very possible next Friday, we might be seeing another squad of Path to Glory players. Um, because it says here, tracking for all Path to Glory items starts on June 11th. So if a player was to be released next week and they had already won one game, that would be kind of on their track record already, I guess, if that makes sense to you. So they would already be one game or one win down out of the three needed to get that first upgrade. So just kind of wanted to, to put that out there. And also, uh, you know, upgrades are gonna happen on Friday, right? So they're gonna be upgrading these cards on Fridays, um, which it says upgrades may take 72 hours to appear in game, which is whatever. But uh, every Friday, we will be seeing the upgrades to these Path to Glory items, which will be nice. And then one other card, which you had released tonight, our Festival of Football nation players and basically what these are are permanently upgraded special items that represent a different nation each release to help you upgrade your nation theme squads throughout the event so we could have a lot of these and we got that card design tonight and that is this right here i believe this was the code that was added late tonight so i'm guessing that is what that is and we should be seeing our first sbc i think today right i think they'll release one of those sbcs today since they have added that code tonight I do believe that is one thing that we will be seeing today in FIFA Ultimate Team. So that's one thing to watch out for. Now, again, as this is said and as it's worded, it's all about the nations, right? That represent a different nation each release. So it's all going to be about the nationalities. And if they're releasing a lot of these national, like, you know, you look at this team, right? They got a whole spread of nations inside of this PTG team. We're probably going to get a whole spread of SBCs relating to all the nations that are in the PTG team, right? And potentially even more. So I'm excited to see what kind of cards we get through that today and maybe even into the week. Now also yesterday, and I haven't spoke about this yet, we had a flashback Gutsa SBC, which in my opinion was maybe one of the better value SBCs from today. A lot of great links in the Air Divisie again, finesse shot trait, 
on this card. Really good looking stats, five star skills, four star weak foot. That's a really, really cool card. So, and coming in, I believe, in Footbin at only 168,000 coins, that is a really, really good value card for a fun item to put in your team. So GG's from EA on that one. Now, of course, we have to talk about the objective card, right? We have to talk about the objective, my man, Christian Eriksen. I'm gonna be adding this card to my squad. Now, are Denmark gonna get three wins? Is this card gonna get upgraded? You know, in the meta concept of this game, there's a very high potential that they will not, but I'm really rooting for them. I'm going to be getting this card done, of course, because I'm a big Ericsson fan, my lookalike brother from another mother, if you will. Um, but I'm excited to get this guy, um, and I hope that Denmark can get some dubs because this card going to a 93 would be really sick. So I'm kind of, that just adds a little bit more, I guess, motivation for me to root for Denmark in this Euros tournament. So kind of interesting along those lines. Now I want to talk about the rest of the market, right? These PTG cards, what's the pack weight like? Well, 100K packs that are in the store, I believe, 5% pack weight. So it's, you know, it's less than a team in the season, but they're not super duper um, rare on the market, right? There's not super duper rare. I know a lot of the cards look really, really expensive right now where you have Vinicius Jr. at 4 million coins at the moment. It's really, really crazy to see how high some of these cards are. It's kind of like a mix, right? You've got Vinicius Jr., Griezmann almost at 4 mil, Havertz at 2.9. You have like the really high tier, incredibly high and expensive cards that are better than some team of the seasons. And then you have a lot of lower tier cards too, right? Gullivan, 120K. Davinson Sanchez, which in my opinion is probably a pretty good value center back for this game. Legit center back. No, you know, right back, left back, at center back type situation. 300K for this guy. I don't think that's too bad, right? He's got better stats in my opinion than Ruben Diaz. He's a live card and Ruben Diaz is about the same price. So I know Ruben Diaz is a bit, uh, a bit better links, but I think this card right here is a very interesting one. Uh, and you know, we're definitely watching a lot of these prices. A lot of these guys have gone up from where they were. Now, as I mentioned, these cards got kind of low during the third lightning round, actually during the Euro game of Turkey versus Italy. This Acuna card was 600 and like 80K, I believe, during that time frame, 688,000 coins, even in like the 650s for a hot minute. He's risen back up to 810. So these some of these guys are really rare, right? Uh, and you have to notice that on the market. Davidson Sanchez was like 350, and as you can see, or 250, he was just back up. Um, but Yaziki was also with a lot of the hype of the game going on. These cards are probably gonna act a lot like headliners and what if cards. As they get closer and closer to that potential upgrade, their prices are gonna rise more. But again, as we see supply coming today on Saturday with more lightning rounds, the weekend league sell off, more SBCs coming, I still think you're gonna see that drop their prices over the weekend, even though we have some games going on. Now, one thing that's gonna be interesting to watch is maybe a nation that is maybe a favorite, right? Like let's say, England or Germany or France, maybe even Argentina in the Copa America, let's say one of those teams draws or loses in one of their group stage games in the next couple of days, you might see one of those cards take a hit in price. But again, as we go throughout this week, that's going to potentially be an opportunity to maybe buy into one of those cards because especially if they're making it out of the group stage, that's a huge deal because of course, for, for a card like Ericsson, the objective, right? If Denmark do not make it out of the group stage, then his card will no longer receive any more upgrades. And if that happens for any of the cards in this team, then of course, just like for a road to the final card that is no longer live or for a headliner card, or let's, or let's say a what if card, like what if Conte, when he was not able to get his upgrade anymore because they ran out of games, you'll see a huge drop off in price because that upgrade is no longer built in to that price point on the card. And as of right now, that's why you're seeing a lot of these prices be really, really expensive is because that potential upgrade and potential stat boost is really built into the card. And that's what's causing these guys to be really, really inflated. So that live feature is really adding to the price of these cards right now on the market, which is interesting to see, but that's normal, right? It's something that we almost, you know, see pretty exclusively during this time or during live cards when they are released, especially early on when they're still really rare. So especially with this, you know, the whole Euro is happening right now and it's in front of us and we're watching the games and stuff. And there's a lot of hype around that. That is something that we're seeing a lot of uh, in this game right now. So I do expect literally the entire squad to get cheaper, even though there's games going on. It's only through the first Basically, they'll only play one, and some teams will play two games by the time these cards will go out of packs, so I definitely expect them to drop off in price, even today, right? I mean, you think, just like Team of the Season cards are brand new promo cards, some of the rare guys here at the top, maybe Griezmann, you know, um, 
maybe guys like Havertz, Verratti, Phil Foden, who is extinct. You might see some of these guys get cheap today around the content drop on Saturday, then have a potential rebound after if there's panic selling heading into 6 p.m., depending on what the content is today, and then a potential rise. Now, the rest of the market, and this is why I want to talk about why I think the market could be dropping off this weekend, a lot of the market is really not rebounding too much, right? I bought this at 1.2 million coins, which at the time was 150,000 coin undercut on this R9. He's back up to 1.36, but he was still chilling around 1.2. Not a really big rise for this card. Um, you know, I'm still going to make a lot of money there, but even this Roberto Carlos, it just didn't seem like a lot of stuff on the market yesterday really rose up. It really did not. A lot of the meta cards, some stuff took a dip and then did rise. I sold, I sold some Chan Calais way too early. He's back up to like 220, 230K. I sold him too early, but a lot of the stuff, you know, unless it was a link to a brand new SBC player, it just kind of stayed the same or went up a little bit in price, right? So that kind of tells me that there's a lot of hype for these brand new cards and the people, the cards that people sold off yesterday, um, you know, there wasn't a ton of buyback. Nani was sold off to like 400 and 70k so he did bounce back a little bit but he only bounced back to like 515k as you can see here he was like 540 550 before the panic selling started on friday morning so that makes me think that a lot of people don't have a lot of coins in this game the lightning rounds are not selling out they were they were staying up at least on playstation for almost the whole hour and that tells me that there's just not a ton of hype and not a ton of people on the game that want to spend money on the game and that's not putting new coins onto the market really so what that's going to mean is if people are going to buy the new cards, they're going to have to go sell whatever they have to afford that, and they're not opening packs to get more coins. So that makes me think that the market's going to fall off a decent amount this weekend. A lot of your TOTS cards, people might be going and selling some of those items to go try out, whether it's a new SBC player, they need coins to finish the SBC, or uh, it's to buy one of the new cards on the market, or maybe they're transitioning their squad to be more of a nation-themed squad kind of like what EA is going to be pushing us towards here in the next couple of days, as you can see in their wording with the the uh, Festival of Football Nation players and SBCs that they're going to be releasing. So I think that might play into things as well. Now, I want to talk about one thing where we can actually make a move on the market, and that is with SBC fodder, because Index 84, take a look at this, right? The Index 84 dropped off a lot. Index 86 dropped off a lot. Even though we had two good SBCs with, with SBCs with Jota and Gutza, you're seeing these fodder cards drop off a decent amount in price. 84s, I believe, are back down into the low 4K range, which if you sold these last week when they were six, 7,000 coins a piece, you're loving it, right? Because you're going to be able to make some money off these. You already made some money if you sold them. And this is, I think, another opportunity to go back in because I think these cards, uh, I think we're going to have a lot of content this week, right? With Path to Glory SBCs, more flashback SBCs. Again, we're coming off of two... Um, I guess quieter weeks in terms of team of the season with content where we were at, up here with Bundesliga and La Liga We went back down to League One and ultimate tots. I think they're gonna pick back up the hype this week It really seems like they are uh, So I think that fodder is gonna be a great investment, right? I really love the 84s and the 85s because they're back down to a range that is just really, really cheap. And I think we're gonna get a lot of SBCs this week. So again, if you do wanna make an investment there, be my guest, right? Be my guest and watch that week and link sell off. Uh, because again, so many people are gonna be focused on the Euros, these PTG cards. And I think we're gonna get a lot more of those, you know, um, I guess we call them casino and gambling SBCs, right? Where it's like the 88 plus TOTS pack, the 90 plus TOTS pack. Um, now also tonight in the pack code, uh, there was released a new, Probably one of those new things we're going to see in the store, basically a pack and, you know, stadium, TIFO, kit, whatever you want to call it, a bundle, ice cream Sundays bundle is what it's called. So, you know, ridiculous pack code, but it looks like we're going to see some more cosmetic items in the store. Um, that was just one thing that I wanted to throw out as well, because that was being talked about and kind of a joke uh, in all honesty. But I really think the SBCs are going to be the name of the game this week. So fodder is going to be a great way to get involved with the market. And I think you'll see the rest of the market drop off today because people are going to want to get involved with these new squads, maybe making some nationality based teams and uh, selling what they have you know, tradable in their teams, which a lot of people right now are really rocking on tradable. So that's kind of interesting. But even this Maradona card, who was 1.4 million uh, coins yesterday, he's now 1.35. He was like 1.3 lows, just kind of getting rare at night tonight. Neymar was down a lot. He still hasn't rebounded up that much, right? He's still 1.08. So without this rebound on the market, 
Um, a lot of people I think are gonna be selling and there's not gonna be that many buyers and I think it's gonna push stuff a lot lower as we head out of this weekend league with a lot of hype on the Euros and these cards and the SBC. So that are, those are my thoughts. Now again, today on Sunday, Saturday, I do think that we will see a new SBC for this car design right here. I would get involved in some SBC fodder if you want to on bids. I mean, even if we don't get good content today, that fodder probably shouldn't drop off that much unless it rises up a bunch into the day. So if you see people starting to buy back fodder, um, you know, then it could go down a little bit after 6 p.m. with more supply today, and that could be something that happens too. But again, in the grand scheme of things, we are very, very low in terms of the fodder prices for the 84 and the 85 specifically uh, on this game is where I'm looking at it right now. The 86s are still up a little bit. 87s are still up a little bit too. So maybe we, we wait to see if those drop off a little bit more, but for, especially for even the 83s, if you can snag these at like, you know, 1.5K on bid with the good links, good nationalities, that could be a really big W later on this week with more SBC content coming. Last thing as well, no ultimate tots guaranteed. Last year, it actually came out on this date, on this Saturday, after Ultimate Tots was over, but that code has not been added. If it were to be, then yes, you would see some of that fodder go even higher. But uh, yeah, these Path to Glory cards, some of them are very expensive, but I like these cards, right? I think we have a pretty good, really awesome range, right? I mean, I really was excited when I saw these cards today, and EA is really bringing the hype with the content, and I hope to see that continue happen today on Saturday, and I think it will with SBC players, whatever, um, you know, nations SBC they're going to be putting out today i'm excited right ea's got me uh pretty pumped up this promo i hope you guys are pumped as well but that's the video for today boys if you did enjoy it smash the thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe or new if you're new it's been nathan foot account i will catch you guys later peace out